Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sammy Ketchum, and welcome back to Sammy Ketchum TCG. All right, guys, today we are going to be taking a look at Blaziken VMAX slash Zero Aura. Not Blaziken. <laughs> Not Blaziken GMAX. <laughs> Blaziken V Max and Zero Aura V um, deck profile from Chilling Rain. That's right, Blaziken V Zero Aura from Chilling Rain. All right, and the reason why we're pairing these two up is really um, we're pairing these two up because um, Blaziken V basically will get Zero Aura V powered up, and then you send in Zero Aura to basically attack and basically demolish your opponent's bench. And we're going to tell you how we're going to do that today. All right? So, um So, we are going to jump right into it. <laughs> um as you can see, I'm not at I'm not in my chair. I'm sitting on my bed. I'm chilling out, you know, I'm trying to chill, trying to relax before I go to work. Um, I've got on my new, um, I got on my new sleepwear, um, you know, loungewear gear that I walk around the house in. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> my shirt. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of cool. Got these kind of cool um, lounge pants on. Has the same like Jigglypuff, Pikachu, Squirtle on it. It's really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm chilling today. <laughs> I've got on some Legendary Zero Aura music. Kind of go along with the Zero Aura type deck. So, let's go. <laughs> Alright. We've got Zero Aura, not... <laughs> Blaziken VMAX, alright? Blaziken VMAX is going to be in our Chilling Rain set. Alright. Um, it has 330 HP. Alright. It's first attack. Yeah, it's first attack does 60 damage. Um, really not focusing on that attack because we're never using that attack in this deck. Alright. We're never using that first attack in this deck. So, we're skipping it. Hahaha. <laughs> The second attack for two colorless energy does 130 damage. And this says you can basically take um, up to two energies, two energy cards from your discard pile and attach them to two of your bench rapid strike Pokemon on your bench. So take two energies from your discard pile and attach them up to you know, up to two of your Rapid Strike Pokemon on your bench because it's a Rapid Strike Pokemon. So this allows you to power up your Rapid Strike Pokemon on the bench. And how do you pay this energy cost for two energy? With Rapid Strike Energy, of course. So that's very powerful. This card is weak to water. Um, it has um, a two retreat cost, which is easily paid by Air Balloon. Um, so things like that. Um, you can hit weakness on Zation with this, I guess, if you're playing against Zation. Eh. <laughs> but it's really in here to power up Zero Aura. Alright, and we've got three copies. So three copy of these. Alright. Um, three copies of Blaziken V. I'm really not going to use any attacks on this thing. It's just in here for the VMAX. Um, it has 210 HP, same weakness, same retreat cost. We're not going to use any attacks on them. Um, I guess we could do the first attack for 50. We can use the first attack for 50. But we're definitely not using the second attack in this deck. So... Alright. Three copies of Zero Aura V. 
and this is the star of the show. All right, Zero RV, 210 HP. All right, it only has one attack for one lightning, two colorless. It does 100 damage to your um act to your opponent's active Pokemon, and what this attack does is that um is if um is if your is if your rapid strike Pokemon used an attack during your last turn. This attack does 160 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, it can hit your opponent's bench for 160. That's one shotting a Dedenne. So, so if basically what you're going to do is you're going to attack with Blaziken, Blaziken VMAX first, power him up, and then attack with him because since he attacked last turn, well, since he's a since he attacked last turn and is a rapid strike Pokemon, now you can do 160 to the bench. That's very powerful. So you're knocking out the Dene. Now, with telescopic sight, you attach telescopic sight to him, and now he's hitting V's and G Maxes on the bench for 30 more damage. So now that 160 is 190. All right. And then you add the new pass Simeon that's going to be in our Chilling Rain set. Um, that's going to be even more. 190, what's it? 92 to 220. So now he's hitting the bench for 220 damage. Insane if you get him out. Like, so good. This is so good. It's hitting bench damage like crazy. If you do not have a Bench Barrier Mew on your bench to stop this, this thing is going to wreck you. And this is why we're playing this deck. Hmm. Hmm. Two copies of the Dene GX. Uh, playing from your hand, discard your hand. Draw six, good support Pokemon. <laughs> One Crobat uh, V with the Dark Asset ability. <laughs> Playing from your hand, um, draw up to six cards. <laughs> All right, two copies of Jirachi. Um, Jirachi has the ability Stella Wish. Um, when he's in the after spot, you could basically put Jirachi to sleep. So GTS. <laughs> and then you look at the top five cards of your deck, get a um, trainer card from there and add it to your hand. So you can get a supporter, you get an item card, you know, it'll help you find um, help you find what you need to get going. Help you set up things like that. It's Jirachi. It's Stella Whiff. <laughs> um, one copy of Past Simeon. I did have two copies in here, but I kind of cut it to one because I had to make space for other things. But what Past Simeon does is that while it's on your bench, um, all your Rapid Strike Pokemon your attacks do 30 more damage to the bench. So whatever damage you do to the bench with your Rapid Strike Pokemon, it's gonna be 30 more damage. That is absolutely busted. Absolutely busted. So Zero Aura is gonna be doing more damage, which is scary. This this with Zero Aura with the Telescope of Sight is going to make you want to put Mew in your deck. You better have it. At least until it rotates. Then when it rotates, oh my god. I, there's no helping you. <laughs> there is no helping you. Zero Aura will smash through everything. Alright, one copy of Tapa Coco Prism Star. Since this is an electric deck, we do have electric energies. Um... 
Dance of the Ancient's ability. When he's on the bench, you can remove this card from play. Get up to two um, lightning energy cards from your discard pile and attach them up to two of your two of your bench Pokemon. Very good card for energy lightning acceleration until it rotates. One copy of Mew, Bench Barrier Mew, against other um against other um bench attacking decks that attack the bench. You gotta put you gotta protect yourself. And one copy of Mewtwo. Um, Mewtwo is in it for its ability. All right, what's, it, what's the ability called? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, who cares? <laughs> but what the ability does? <laughs> but what the ability does is that I think it's Mind Report. Mind Report. Okay. <laughs> Mind Report. All right. Um, it lets you get a supporter card from your discard pal and place it on top of your deck. Now this is actually good, for, like if you want like a supporter for your next turn, you can put it on top of your deck, then you draw it on your next turn. Or, you could basically put it on top of your deck, then use Jirachi, Stella Wish, to get it off the top of the deck. And then you could play it. So that's something you could do with this, you know. Four copies of Professor's Research. Discard your hand, draw seven. Three copies of Marnie. Three bosses' orders. Four copies of Quick Ball, discard your hand, um, not discard your hand, discard a card from your hand and get a basic Pokemon added to your hand from your deck. Copies of Pokemon Communication to help you find your um, Blazing and VMAX. Four copies of Switch. <clears throat> For a scoop up net, this is why we can play things like Mewtwo and Jirachi. Three telescopic sight. For your zero or GXs, not GXs, V's. <laughs> you can tell I love playing with zero aura. I really do. Right. Um, um, three copies of um, Tower of Waters. Um, to help you um retreat. It gives you um, make sure rapid strike Pokemon. Two or three costs less. It's a good stadium, and you want to be playing against the stadium wars. All right, you don't want to get in a battle with um with what is it? What is it? What it is? Um 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 um. um. Oh, what is that stadium? Um, why can't I think of the name? Um, God, I just had it. Not. Mm. Um, path to the peak. You want to block path to the peak with this. <laughs> I mean, against chaotic swell, there's nothing you can do against chaotic swell but just bump it off until maybe you get a chance to play another stadium if you can. But against path to the peak, you want to counter path to the peak because path to the peak is dangerous. Four copies of Rapid Strike Energy. This counts as um, fighting and water. All 
All right, four electric energy. And then three speed lightning energy. Um, attach this to your um, um, electric Pokemon, lightning Pokemon. And when you do, draw two cards, help you draw a little bit. All right, guys, that is the deck. All right, um, I forgot to say this at the beginning, but shout outs to um, Omnipoke's channel. Um, I got this deck from from there. Um, well, basically, I kind of um, guesstimated what was in the deck, you know, just by looking at the cards and things like that. And I kind of made my own. Um, I I uh, took you know what I saw, um, made my own list. Um, I I cut some things, cut some of the cute little texts and things, and I added stadiums to the deck because they didn't have stadiums in the deck. And I was like, I'm like, okay, we need stadiums in this deck. We need to counter stadiums. Because if we don't count the stadiums, we're going to be at a big loss. You know, so I did that. Basically, every, mostly all the stuff in the, all the stuff in the deck is basically mostly what they played. So, um, I think it's really, really decent. I think it's really, really decent. And it's really good. Um, if they, if you don't have, if you don't have a Bench Barrier Mew, this deck is going to go to town and this deck is going to wreck you. It gets started. It gets started a little slow, but once this deck gets going, once Zero or V gets going, it, it's 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 unstoppable. It's unstoppable, and and you'll definitely lose if you don't have that Mew. Um. And yeah. Mm. Also, um, I will be doing um the spread layout so you can see um what the deck looks like laid out. Um, if you guys want to like screenshot it, you know, you know, take a look at the deck, you know, deck list, you know, you can take it, change it up, play with it, however you like. Um, but Zero Aura is going to be really good in the Chilling Rain format moving forward. All right. I will be back and show you guys the layout. All right, guys, here is the um, layout. All right, got everything kind of laid out perfectly for you guys. So you can see it there. All right, um, this is the deck. Again, shouts out to um, Joe from Omnipoke for um, you know, showing this on his channel with the battle videos with the, um, what is it called? Tabletop gaming. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I really like this deck. It spreads really nicely. Um, it's going to be a force to reckon with, um, come out, come chilling rain. So, you know, watch out for this. Um, Blaziken, VMAX, and Zero Aura. They're very good together. <laughs> Alright guys. Well that is the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Mischief Managed.